we go. Back to see how doomed this uh, playthrough is gonna be. Can make it true. Ooh, <clears throat> let's see. Where the hell was I? Um, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the order levels because, well, they differ between games. So, uh, that. <clears throat> Right, my objectives. I can see that. Reached. Reached Emperor. Right, I've been here. The flashlight. Uh, so, Doom again here. 3 BFG edition. I have like infinite flashlight. I forgot to see if I could center. Center the. <clears throat> the flashlight casting here. Would have wanted it centered on the crosshair for sure. Um, using ultimate uh, HD uh, mod. Adds textures and lightnings. To my knowledge, AI. Uh, like a different, a little bit of an AI thing. Oh, all right. Um, wait, here we go. Do 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 do. Um, uh, recording. It seems audio. The one hour mark. Thanks for getting me out of there. I got trapped in the chamber when the power went. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why none of the systems are responding. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system from here. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. Right. Let's just continue here. I want to try to keep pace up on this one. I have that one. Alright, gotta for try to remember what kind of guns I have. Uh, audio is good for that. More. Uh oh. Hopefully, the audio levels will be decent. It will be. A little bit of ups and downs there, so need to like adjust. It's adjusted for like the combat. Some cutscenes might get loud, and some interaction with um, like voice interaction with characters might be a bit low. Um, I'm using my Steam controller still to play here. This is the easy difficulty. <clears throat> Just so I can like try to at least get through this game. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of quick saving so I don't lose too much progress if I need to go back and forth. Ah. Right. Right, right, you got to remember, they will always uh, 
top enemies right in your ass. <laughs> and even on the, the easy difficulty of you quite easy lose big uh, uh, a big chunk of HP can easily be lost very quickly. Hmm. I get stuck in a corner. It's not what I meant to do, but apparently we are doing this. Ah. See, even though I have a light here, it's itch black almost, even with the light here. And that's, you know, this is the reason why I'm doing this on easy to just help me try to get through. <laughs> because it's been uh, on and off for like 20 years. This through to the end, I've gotten as far as like 50% finished with the game. Just been a little bit of a bug <clears throat> in the back of my head. I played all of the Doom games and pretty much finished, and then you have this one but again it is because uh, <clears throat> this is a very different game and it's almost even better if you don't view this as a as a dude game more of a, like a horror kind of shooter oh okay it, uh... Yeah, I would definitely say that if you want to play this, and if you played the old Doom and didn't even the new Dooms, like, use this as a... Use this as a separate game, and uh, might have a better... better experience. <laughs> you can go into this like, oh, this is fast-paced action craziness. Like uh, the classic Doom or like um, modern Dooms, that is not what you got. What you are going to get here. Oh, right, this open up. Do I did in my first video here? I discuss a lot of the changes because there is a ton of changes. Like how they made the corridors feel so much less room to move around in to dodge than first the game, the weapon reloading system, uh, the kind of like jump scares. That just are insane. Like a constant. It was jump scares and this, you know, being ambushed in the first game, but here it is. You level AI, how they can have the, the kind of more of a. Like twitching movement compared to the more linear movement of the first the new games. Everything combined to just a very, very. Just a very different experience and how the shot can spread is Jan Mullins and everything just have a very 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 different feel all in all and uh, being super dark so dark that you you know you constantly barely see anything is very different <laughs> All oh, right. Okay, so this is gonna be a fight room, and again, when you do these rooms, they are super small. 
they are super cramped, lots of corner getting stuck, and it's just... This is not a thing that I enjoy, and that is what makes it a little bit of a challenge into going through this, but... Right, I remembered this room and seeing it. I don't know if this is a required room or an extra room that you can do to like get this weapon a little bit quicker. I'm out of ammo for this one, so all the guns use different ammo. I think in is it in at least in Doom 20 is it in Doom 2? That the pistol and like the, this gun used the same gun. Maybe it's Wolfenstein. I don't think. That oh, doesn't matter. Alright. Good thing here. An easy I made it through. And also, you know, the difference of when you get shot, you get stun locked. Um, have a crazy. The reason I'm not hitting is obviously because you get shook around so much that it... Yeah, I, you know, it's definitely something that you can enjoy. But I feel that, uh, you know, they should have had options for old school people like me and others that just is not into the super achiness and difference. And... Uh, no, they could have added an option for do you want to have knockback? Do you want to have reload for your guns? And do you want an always run, for example? And it just could have made for a bit of a different experience. Because the level design is nice and interesting, even though I don't like this super cramped fighting all corners get stuck on, but it is an interesting. The game had a lot of cool stuff going for it. With how it did stuff. Yeah, I'm just not gonna bother with those. I Yeah, and this is also, you know, this is the difference. You have all of this lore, and that's nice and cool, but or the people that me that came from the traditional Doom games that just, you know, wanted the action. We we are not into going through all of all the stuff like this to just see if we can maybe find something. It's nothing wrong with it. It's a cool idea again, but that's what I'm playing on easily. I hope I don't do. This is a good help with ammo, HP and stuff. On you play on the normal or higher difficulties, so. Um, again, it's cool, but it's just it it doesn't feel. This has a very little doom feel. So again, I feel you should view this. View this as a oh wow, well, they could ambush me all the way up there. Okay, view this more of like a. Jesus! More of a Space Marine game that are in the Doom universe. Hey, this is easy and I almost died because, you know, I got ambushed all the way from here. They spawned in uh, just all of enemies there. It was a healing station, but it was far back, right?
And you can get cornered, stun locked, and uh, stuff like that. It's super easy, and I find that very, very annoying to me. That is not something I just really don't like stuff like that. And that's why, you know, this has been like a 20 year coming. There's so much difference in this game, so it makes it so easy for me to not go forward with the game. And just start playing something else. Whoa! It's just too over exaggerated with all of these tiny corridors that you just get ambushed in. My god, it is. Ooh, my new and uh, then my new US resolution to kind of try to get through this. It's gonna be rough, I'm gonna tell you. This is so far from what I enjoy. Again, it's not gonna be that I classify this as a bad game. Yet it's so far from the Doom and from my style of game. <laughs> uh, I gotta get into the game. This is not Doom, this is Space Marine in the Doom universe. Space Marine, the horror... Horror game. Oh, okay, not too, not taking too much damage, but, all right. <sighs> Resting in you, little enemy there. We're going to the next. Okay, so I missed it going one. It could have been like a bit of ammo and stuff like that. You do get rewarded in this game for an exploration. I think there is one particular part of this uh, this game that I remember that I'm not looking forward to. That was like a section with uh, like platform that you had kind of had to move a lot of. Uh, oh, hello, little friend. Uh, there was a platform that I remember that you had to like uh, that you had to move back and forward and kind of pull your way forwards. Another difference is that 
this game is also... Oh, the kind of gun shooting works. Obviously you have the knockback and everything, but... Um, more so... Wow, they dodge good in this mod. Can you just go forward instead of trying to kill all ones here? Get me out of this. Okay. Whew. Another thing is... Different is that you... Uh, in the old ones games uh, and the moderns, you can pretty much hold down your triggers to just keep firing. Uh, here you have to... Oh, right, you need, no, this one was open. Uh, in this one you need to like press for every shot and continuously firing. Yeah, a lot of difference. Saving. I think we're coming to the platform section I didn't enjoy. It took me a little bit too long. Right, maybe we can do that jump, so that's not time waste time you service bridge now operational Yeah, and I don't... Alright. Oh, this is the... Enemy Skulls from... Previous Doom games. Very different looking... Uh, like, uh, enemy types. Not bad, but it's very different. I think they captured it the traditional look more in Doom 2016. In this one, the enemies have a very, very much a different look to it. Attention. The skulls can fly um, through walls, which can be quite annoying. Oh crap. To open that somehow. Warmers are mostly good. Uh, but this mod is definitely very CPU bound out here. I'm getting mostly 120 frames, but it, it will dip down. Alright, I have the plasma rifle. Right, rifle now. Uh, okay, I need to reload even this gun. That sucks. Uh, this one is reloaded. Probably could remove my key binding for... Well, not remove, but move with my key binding for... For the pistol, because I don't think I'm gonna be using that really much. Hopefully not. Good audio to be listening for, like enemy spawns and types of enemies.
Uh, so you you can see that I pretty much has infinite flashlight here. Uh, or tools if you call it that. That is possible within this mod. You can just uh, like how fast it recharges, how long it will last. This is nice. Uh, oh, also I hope that this mod is going to be updated because it, they, it's kind of based on RBR Doom, I think it was. Another mod. And that mod has gotten an improved graphic backend that should improve performance. So that should help this mod also if it gets updated. I think it's been... As this mod hasn't been updated in quite a while. You never know. There are also different, you know, HD pack and you can use the RBR Doom instead and get maybe different results like this mod. It was just, this mod was easy, get going, looked good, had a little bit of extra oomph on the original, so that's why I went with it. Uh, but again, I think this had this mod adds a different enemy AI that you might not wanna wanna have. You might wanna have the more traditional. I think this is more like dodgy AI that it dodges better. The uh, heck? Barrels are not as so powerful anymore. <clears throat> but it, the, graphically, it is uh, holding up really well with this mod. Personally, I probably wouldn't have minded a more stupid AI. Just to give me the more the old school feel and more easeability. Again, this is easy mode, but uh, I'm probably gonna take a death to this playthrough. I think I already have that. You can die very easily. So if I'm doing good, it should be something between 16 to 20 episodes <laughs> of this game. Do you see the card? And that's also different, you know, this is a longer game than I feel like transmission from there. than the first few games. Like they they stay around 20 to like 30 something hours. Depending on how much exploration you're gonna do. That is on the chunkier side for a game like the Doom games. Morning. Oh. Terrible shooting of me. Okay, so I'm maybe supposed to go back, or am I supposed to go? No, yeah, all right, that's just plasma. All right, nothing more here. Went around, we did that, so probably supposed to head back now. Okay. Wait, did I just circle back? Yes, I did.
Mission impossible. Huh? Don't know, that's a scene where you get squished in an elevator in that movie. Oof. And saving, alright. Alright, that's good. So that means we are on the right track. When enemies keep spawning, you're going the right way. Pretty quick, it's not the fastest quick saving for sure. The hell. Even here with this infinite flashlight, uh, it's very difficult to spot enemies sometimes. <laughs> I think it's because it's off center for me that makes it that way. You know what? Care of that is here now. Right, sneaky little bastards are trying to a lot of enemies all around the corners. Oh, it's been a while since I had a one of the slower enemy types. Alright, so nothing we can interact with here. I'm pretty much going to focus on, uh, you know, the shotgun here to have keep my tougher guns for just tougher, rougher enemies and and the uh, bosses and stuff like that hopefully make that go smooth this is a very quick dodgy enemy ai in this ish mod here uh barrels can be good to help you but they can also damage you pretty quickly so I think I'm gonna, in many cases, shoot barrels for safety reasons. Like those, those are very roughly placed. Right, just spawning an enemy from out of nowhere behind me.
it's good to do, you know, a little bit of exploring here. And find some with a piece of ammo and armor. The A files that can give you access codes. You should keep an eye on the RBR Doom if you like this game because they might in the future wanna add uh, ray tracing, which obviously with all the shadow and lightning can look probably amazing in this game if it were to happen. Probably might be very far off, but something cool. Right, and you have limited amount of air, so you need to kind of kind of try to move at a nice pace. This is kind of what I'm going to use the pistol, pistol for. If I see an enemy that looks pretty easy to take down, I switch to it. And... Wow, he's spawning! Ow, oh, I... Damn, and the knockback is so insane. He has spawned right into that airlock. I, I can't see! <laughs> oh. oh man, this game, like, even on easy air, you just chunked a nice little bit of HP there. And it's, uh, again, it's... That's not what's like, it's so not my type of game. Super cramped corridors here, super dark, you know ambushed file so hopefully i can make it through this this game finally but it, it's still up in the air i'm still like questioning myself if that's gonna really be happening I think I had got so far in the game that I got uh, the rocket launcher. I met the that enemy there. Is it was that enemy core? The one that 
has two like a rocket launcher on its shoulders. That's kind of how far I have gotten into the game. Part of me just wanna try to sprint as much possible just past enemies. Because I don't know any the layout of the game that's probably not gonna end up well, so which way am I supposed to go here? Oh yeah, this is not gonna be good. I didn't realize I was outside. So you have a, a, a limited amount of time to read outside and I completely missed that one. Okay, so he spawned right behind me in that elevator. Hello. That barrel is placed good for me. Reload. Good. I think all of the guns are reloaded, so we should. We're coming close to the kind of platform part that I was not that into in this this game, and I I think I took got stuck a little bit too long in that section. That's why I didn't enjoy it. So Okay, so that dude drops a chainsaw. I don't think I have oh Don't think I have use for that one. I don't even know if I have that bound to anything. Alright, oh, have 15 grenades. I don't use those either. Oh crap, I did wrong there. That's my, mi my mistake. I really messed up. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I don't think I mapped it out. Yeah, I don't even think I mapped it. Oh well, that sucks. Uh, not too much damage missed. Uh, knock back. Uh, I don't think I have the chainsaw or anything like that mapped out. So we, we will see how that's gonna pan out, I mean, if I need to map them or not. Uh, do, 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 do. I, I might, yeah, I'm gonna try to do that between uh, this video and the next video. I'm gonna to, do two in a row. I'll try to map out Map that out. Yeah, I, I try to do. I'm gonna try to do that to see if I can.
if I can map out those e binding for that. Just for fun, if it might be happening. Dude. Let's press save. Reloaded the plasma rifle. Yes. And the shotgun. We are coming up here to To end this video here pretty soon so then i'll try to i can map the melee or the chain of souls the enemy behind me or maybe who knows oh wait a minute we go. scary enemy to have at you in the close quarter yes we gotta reload even this one i remember that and that's a slow reload it's interesting some of the room that are super dark even with like the flashlight like they kind of intentionally let's make it super dark oh huh? I wonder if I can tweak the crosshair or something to make it stand out maybe a little bit more. Sometimes it uh, kind of blends in here. It is a bit interesting sometimes. The my crosshair, the color of that. I'm gonna... Yeah, between the videos, take just a quick break there to try to see if I can uh, just double check stuff like that. Let's see if we can get to a good point. A point. Oh, okay. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay. access locked. Yeah, I think this is the part I did not really anyone where you have to kind of navigate your way to uh, quite a lot of like lift riding. So let's see if I can get the lifts uh, powered on here to end this with and then see. Ah, nope, that's terrible. Wow. Dude is spawning here. 
All right, was when I went this way. Have you? That is why I do a lot of saving here. With a one little cornering mistake ambush and you can just be dead. That's... Be the way to go. Probably. And drop down, but it, it's worth it. Right? Service lift called to station. Yeah, this part I was definitely not fan because you can move it. You have to like navigate this this kind of puzzle maze thing. And I don't remember which way to go. Right, you can also um, go up and down here with the lift. So, like that. Uh, I don't think I can jump to this platform. I could. Oh, if I'm supposed to. There are multiple... Multiple lifts go through. For you to like navigate. I was hoping to just get to turn the power on here, but apparently not. Alright, hello dude. This did nothing for me. But maybe this was or wasn't the way to go. I don't know. I don't see any real way to go from here. And that's gonna. Can't walk on those. Those are obviously electrified. So you're gonna. Oh, did I? I didn't go this way, right? Let's end by peeking in here. again there's no maps you need to like keep everything just in the head map would definitely be helpful for me all right so this is where we're supposed to go later on Double check this did this open uh, no 
Maintenance accent. I think I need to go back to this one. Find a good spot to save in, I guess. Who jumped at that? My. Exit lift area. Okay, so this is gonna give you... Oh, this is... This is probably glitched, right? And I'm giving you introduction to Burst Darker. This just looks very bad. It would probably be a bug for me, a glitch. Here and with this mod. Ooh. Are we supposed to go again? Feels like I'm going the kind of right way, so okay. Um, let's see if we can pass this area, maybe. Save and then run outside. Yet, where are we supposed to be going? Good place. Here. Oh, yeah, here's a good place to stop and save. And then let's see, the, I'm gonna check my key bindings here a little bit if I can map that. Oh. We're back here. Here I'm gonna stop. Check in a little bit of a quick tinkering around. But stay tuned. It's gonna be one more tune with you in a row. I'm trying to progress this quickly and fastly. So save. And so thanks for watching this. Stay tuned for, to see if I'm gonna be able to make it through this game or not. After 20 years of trying. You never know. Uh, hopefully I will do that. But... Uh, still up in the air. Not because it's a bad game, but it's a very different game than the other Doom games. So you can check back, you can follow the channel, you can leave a comment or like. Nothing else. You can have a great day till next time and bye. Ow.